Hi, my name is uh, Casey Lewis. I'm the manager of corporate communications for Nintendo of America. We're here at the uh, Wii U preview event where we announced our launch date for the system, we announced our price, and we also revealed a new application called Nintendo TV that we wanted to show you here. So walk us through what Nintendo TV is all about. So Nintendo TV is going to dramatically change the way that we find, the way that we watch, and the way that we engage with entertainment content via the integrated second screen of the Nintendo gamepad, the Wii U gamepad, excuse me. So what it does is it combines live TV from your cable provider, VOD content from Netflix or Amazon, and content from your DVR into one interface. So typically when you sit down and you watch a TV show, you have to hunt around for it. Now with Nintendo TV, you search for that program, you find Mad Men, you find Breaking Bad, and then Nintendo TV shows you where that content is available via the subscription services that you have. So whether it's on live TV, whether it's on Amazon, whether it's on your DVR, you click a button and it starts to play. When it comes to, like for instance, I have DirecTV in my house, will it automatically know where to look in my DVR through DirecTV? Yes. Oh, well, uh, excuse me. So the DirecTV, the live feed, will appear. Um, for, in terms of DVR, we're announcing a TiVo partnership right now. They have that integration that we're able to access content from their DVR. That's a deeper inter integration. So we're, we're hoping to have more announcements as we get closer to launch. We're in conversations with all the big MSOs, and that, that'll come out later. Right now, it's, it's TiVo. But it doesn't matter your cable subscription, Time Warner, Comcast, DirecTV, as you mentioned. That will be pulled in automatically and displayed on Nintendo TV. And when it comes to, to give us an example of like Amazon, a lot of people have Netflix, how they can be able to access this. I guess this is like a step further than what they've been able to do with the Nintendo Wii or Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, I mean, you know, with the Wii, uh, with Nintendo 3DS, we had a Netflix application or a Hulu Plus application where you log into that application and find your content. This pulls that content up into the Nintendo TV interface, providing live TV, VOD, DVR all in one central spot. So that, that's the kind of the fine that I mentioned. Also, the, the gamepad can serve as a super remote. You can launch a program directly from your gamepad. It has all typical remote functionalities. We revealed something uh, in the bottom right hand corner, the spin wheel, where you can program certain channels that have buttons on the controller. You can lock right into that channel, go instantly. There's also really deep social interaction. So what we're doing, we look at the top 100 shows and we capture live moments from each show. So as you're watching a, a football game or a modern family episode. When something major happens, we create a tile for that moment. You log into that tile, or you click on that tile, open it up, and then you can comment directly in there. And that is shared with your Miiverse friends, with your Twitter friends, with your Facebook friends. And you can have a conversation directly within a moment, within a program. And that's integral to the Wii U experience. You guys have also gotten involved on the Nintendo 3DS side with a lot more original programming and things like that. Do you see that relaying out to the Wii U at some point? That's certainly a possibility. We, you know, we're not announcing any of that today, but as you mentioned, we've got great content on uh, Nintendo 3DS, and uh, certainly possible to see that on the Wii U, but n nothing to announce today. Okay, and uh, do you guys have a sense of like how big a part entertainment is for the, the Nintendo gamer? I mean, we've seen the, the content on the 3DS, we've seen the Netflix on the Wii U. Before those, those devices, Nintendo didn't do a lot on the entertainment side. How have you seen the audience evolve when it comes to entertainment? You know, so um, we've seen research that's come out fairly recently, actually, that the Nintendo Wii is the number one non-PC device for streaming Netflix. Um, we've seen all kinds of research like that, that that supports Nintendo's entertainment position. People look at our devices, the Wii and the 3DS, as entertainment devices, not just gaming devices. And I think the Wii is going to take that proposition even further.